Winter Store by Archibald Lampman. This is Mackenzie Nicole Greenwood, recording for LibriVox.org on September 6, 2016. Subtly conscious, all awake, let us clear our eyes and break through the cloudy chrysalis, see the wonder as it is down a narrow alley blind touch and vision heart and mind turn sharply inward still we plod till the calmly smiling god leaves us and our spirits grow more thin more acrid as we go creeping by the sullen wall we forego the power to see the threads that bind us to the all god or the immensity whereof on the eternal road man is but a passing mode too blind we are too little see of the magic pageantry every minute every hour from the cloud flake to the flower forever old forever strange issuing in perpetual change from the rainbow gates of time but he who through this common air surely knows the great and fair what is lovely what sublime becomes in an increasing span one with earth and one with man one despite these mortal scars with the planets and the stars and nature from her holy place bending with unveiled face fills him in her divine employ with her own majestic joy up the fielded slopes at morn where light wefts of shadow pass films upon the bending corn i shall sweep the purple grass sun-crowned heights and mossy woods and the outer solitudes mountain valleys dim with pine shall be home and haunt of mine I shall search in crannied hollows where the sunlight scarcely follows, and the secret forest brook murmurs, and from nook to nook forever downward curls and cools, frothing in the bouldered pools. Many a noon shall find me laid in the pungent balsam shade, where sharp breezes spring and shiver on some deep rough coasted river and the plangent waters come amber hued and streaked with foam where beneath the sunburnt hills all day long the crowded mills with remorseless champ and scream overlord the sluicing stream and the rapids iron roar hammers at the forest's core where corded rafts creep slowly on glittering in the noonday sun and the tawny river dogs shepherding the branded logs bind and heave with cadenced cry where the blackened tugs go by panting hard and straining slow laboring at the weighty toe flat-nosed barges all in trim creeping in long cumbrous line loaded to the water's brim with the clean cool scented pine perhaps in some low meadow land stretching wide on either hand i shall see the belted bees rocking with the tricksy breeze in the spired meadow sweet or with eager trampling feet burrowing in the boneset blooms treading out the dry perfumes where sun-hot hay-fields newly mown climb the hillside ruddy brown i shall see the haymakers while the noonday scarcely stirs brown of neck and booted gray tossing up the rustling hay while the hay-racks bend and rock as they take each scented cock jolting over dip and rise and the wavering butterflies o'er the spaces brown and bare light and wander here and there 
I shall stray by many a stream where the half shut lilies gleam, napping out the sultry days in the quiet, secluded bays, where the tasseled rushes tower o'er the purple pickerel flower and the floating dragonfly azure glint and crystal gleam watches o'er the burnished stream with his eye of ebony where the bullfrog lulls at rest on his float of lily leaves that the swaying water weaves and distends his yellow breast lowing out from shore to shore with a hollow vibrant roar where the softest wind that blows as it lightly comes and goes o'er the jungled river meads stirs a whisper in the reeds and wakes the crowded bulrushes from their stately reveries flashing through their long-leaved hordes like a brandishing of swords there too the frost-like arrow flowers tremble to the golden core children of enchanted hours whom the rustling river bore in the night's bewildered noon woven of water and the moon i shall hear the grasshoppers from the parched grass rehearse and with drowsy note prolong evermore the same thin song i shall hear the crickets tell stories by the humming well and mark the locust with quaint eyes caper in his cloak of grey like a jester in disguise rattling by the dusty way i shall dream by upland fences where the season's wealth condenses over many a weedy wreck wild uncared for desert places that sovereign beauty loves to deck with her softest dearest graces there the long year dreams in quiet and the summer's strength runs riot shall i not remember these deep in winter reveries buried briar and thistle bloom and milkweed with its dense perfume slender vervain towering up in a many branched cup like a candlestick each spire kindled with a violet fire matted creepers and wild cherries purple bunched elderberries and on scanty plots of sod groves of branchy goldenrod what though autumn mornings now winterward with glittering brow stiffen in the silver grass and what though robins flock and pass with subdued and sober call to the old year's funeral though october's crimson leaves rustle at the gusty door and the tempest round the eaves alternate with pipe and roar i sit as erst unharmed secure conscious that my store is sure whatsoe'er the fenced fields or the untilled forest yields of unhurt remembrances or thoughts far glimpsed half followed these i have reaped and laid away a treasure of unwinnowed grain to the garner packed and gray gathered without toil or strain and when the darker days shall come and the fields are white and dumb when our fires are half in vain and the crystal starlight weaves mockeries of summer leaves pictured on the icy pane when the high aurora gleams far above the arctic streams like a line of shifting spears and the broad pine circled mirrors glimmering in that spectral light thunder through the northern night then within the bolted door i shall con my summer store though the fences scarcely show black above the drifted snow though the icy sweeping wind whistle in the empty tree safe within the sheltered mind i shall feed on memory yet across the windy night comes upon its wings a cry fashioned forms and modes take flight 
and a vision sad and high of the laboring world down there where the lights burn red and warm pricks my soul with sudden stare glowing through the veils of storm in the city yonder sleep those who smile and those who weep those whose lips are set with care those whose brows are smooth and fair mourners whom the dawning light shall grapple with an old distress lovers folded at midnight in their bridal happiness pale watchers by beloved beds fallen adrowse with nodding heads whom sleep captured by surprise with the circles round their eyes maidens with quiet taken breath dreaming of enchanted bowers old men with the mask of death little children soft as flowers those who wake wild-eyed and start in some madness of the heart those whose lips and brows of stone evil thoughts have graven upon shade by shade and line by line refashioning what was once divine all these sleep and through the night comes a passion and a cry with a blind sorrow and a might i know not whence i know not why a something i cannot control a nameless hunger of the soul it holds me fast in vain in vain i remember how of old i saw the ruddy face of men through the glittering world outrolled a gay smiling multitude all immortal all divine treading in a wreathed line by a pathway through a wood end of poem this recording is in the public domain